So this is my A-level cert and in this video, I just want to share with you some of the most important lessons that I learned in JC that really helped me to score all A's in JC. Just for some context, I was in VJC, I took PCME, so H2 Physics, Chem, Math and Econs. Now, first of all, JC is more than five times harder than secondary school, right? When you sit for your first JC1 exam, you will get a shock. I remember back when I was in JC and I was taking my first physics class test, I think the average score was like 4 out of 15 for the entire class. And you know, I was a bit shocked lah, because I thought that, you know, aren't we all over here, did we do quite well for our O levels and suddenly we all they're scoring so bad for our physics, right? And it's really a whole new different ballgame. In chemistry, you're gonna learn this thing called structural elucidation, where basically there's a 10 marks question, they give you a bunch of reactions and you have to deduce the entire organic compound. Right? In physics, you're gonna learn this really really hard chapter called superposition where it's basically two waves interfering and it's just a really hard chapter right and even more examples like gp my essays in gp for some reason cannot score more than 50 percent even though i scored a1 for english right and so jc again is a completely new different ball game than secondary school and the first lesson that i'd like to share here is that topical mastery is so much more important than syllabus mastery Right? And I learned this the hard way. Because in JC, the content is very, very deep. Right? Back when I was doing my promos, I did a lot of practices for my promos. Basically, promos is like the end of your exam for JC1 that decides that if you promote to JC2. Right? So I did around six to eight practice papers for every single subject, but I still didn't do well for my promos. Right? I think I'm gonna flash my score right now. It wasn't the worst, but it also wasn't what I wanted. And that taught me a very, very harsh lesson that day, which is that all this time that I spent doing all these exam papers is mostly a waste of time, right? Because I never go deep into the topics. All these exam papers, mostly they will have one or two questions per topic, which is really not what you need as a JC student, right? So for example, math, if you want to learn vectors, you should just spend one full day doing vectors questions, right? Expose yourself to all the different types of questions that can come up for vectors. Whether it's you know shortest distance between two planes, or is you know I forgot what it does in vectors really. But basically, it's a lot of different question types. And once you expose yourself to all these question types, that's when you actually master the topic, right? And when you master the topic, you will score well when that topic is question is tested in the exam. Compared to if you just do a bunch of practice papers for the whole subject, you're not gonna master any topic. Right, so topical practice is really important and also just as a side note, right, if you want to learn something, you got to do it twice. The first time is you do the question, you get it wrong and you learn the correct solution. And the second time is you actually apply the understanding to a similar question, right? You can't just do the question once and read the solution and expect to absorb it. You need to really apply it to another question if you want to have the long-term understanding. And that's why doing topical is so important because when you do topical, you're doing a bunch of questions and basically reapplying the concept over and over again, right? And that fosters the deep understanding that you truly need. So topical mastery is a lot more important than syllabus mastery. The second most important lesson that I learned is that the biggest thing that decides how well you do for JC is who you surround yourself with, right? And just to give an example, RI and HCI basically has around 300 students every single year that scores 90 RP, right? I know now it's 70, but then basically 300 students score straight A's in RI and HCI every single year, right? Around there. And so it's not that they have the better teachers or they have, you know, the best notes in Singapore, or it's not that they're 300 times smarter than students in other schools, right? It's just because everyone in these schools, they study a lot. There's a very, very huge culture of you know, mugging, which is like studying in these schools. And when you join these schools, you will start to feel the pressure to start studying yourself, right? And if you surround yourself with people who study, you will start to study yourself, right? For example, if you study for four hours a day and all your friends study for eight hours, you're gonna eventually feel pressure to study even more, right? If you score a B in your exams and your friends score an A, you're gonna feel like you didn't do that well and you're gonna be pushed to study harder. Right, compared to if you study, like same person, you also study for four hours, but all your friends study for one hour per day. You're gonna feel like you did so much more than your friends and it's time to take a break, right? 
And if you score a B for your exams, but your friends are scoring C's and D's, you're gonna feel like you already did a good job. And maybe the exam is just hard, you know, all these kind of things. And so I can give you all the tricks to study faster or more efficiently, but honestly, the single most important thing to really help you improve your grades is to surround yourself with people who actually study, take their studies seriously, right? And I'm not saying that you should go and go switch up on your day ones and you know just ditch all your friends. Honestly, JC1 you can still enjoy, right? But closer towards A levels, you should really think about mixing with people who have a habit of studying, right? Who have a culture of studying. And that would be my second advice to really score well in A levels. Surround yourself with people who study more, right? And the last thing that I learned as a student is that as a JC student, time is the most important resource that you have, right? If everyone has an unlimited amount of time, like if you had 100,000 hours to study for your A-levels, you will score all A's, right? And so everyone has the same 24 hours. Those that score more A's just use that 24 hours better, more efficiently. And a big misconception that I see students have is they think that people waste time because they have big commitments, which is not true, right? In CCA, there's going to be a lot of commitments. You have CCAs, you have your other competitions and all that. And there's really a lot of people that have a lot of commitments but still score well, right? And so it's not these big things that take up your time. It's the small things that really eat up your time slowly and silently. It's like a death by a thousand cuts, right? So for example, if you're studying and your friend asks you to play Clash Royale halfway and break your focus, right? Or if you're studying halfway and your friend texts you and you have to take your time and you know, reply your friend halfway when you're in the zone. Those are the things that really are the ones that take up your time. And so I really encourage all the JC students to block out your study time and really protect it, right? If you have three hours of study time, make sure to really focus during that three hours. If your friend interrupts you during your study time for even like five minutes, that could cost you up to one hour because it's breaking your focus, right? You need to be focused and in the zone to really make use of their study time. So it's not about not having other commitments, but it's about studying when it's time to study and resting when it's time to rest, right? So these are my main takeaways of the lessons that I wish I knew when I was in JC and really could have saved me a lot of time studying. And at the end of the day, JC is really not about, it's not all about studying, right? Obviously you can go enjoy in JC, but if you want to score well for JC, you kind of have to study a lot. And I hope that these tips help you study faster so that you can spend more time on other things, right? So hope that helps you. And by any chance, if you're taking physics in JC and you're interested in my JC physics classes, just go and watch at the screen, the number around the screen, and I'll send over to you the details. Right, all the best in your JC.